The communities of Low Nyomi District say that the National Water and Electricity Company Nawek has fallen short of expectation. The natives of Nyomi expressed that the establishment of electricity service pools at their villages brought hope, but their hopes for electricity supply over the months have been dissolved and they demand explanations. No meaningful development can take place in the absence of electricity. But uh, it's cross-border, but we, we are definitely surprised. Uh, definitely because all the poles, service poles have been fixed months back, but still now to no avail. I know Nawek can be in a better position to explain about the delay, but definitely people is well overdue and uh, people are eager to get el electricity because development cannot go in the absence of electricity. Even agriculture, which is the backbone of the country, uh, there is no meaningful and efficient agriculture that can take place in the action of electricity. And uh, this uh, is a surprise because all the polls, there is nothing that can, uh, what they can tell you, uh, to be frank, I mean, uh, that hold the electricity. The complaints came after electricity service polls have been established by Nawek in the communities of Nyomi. And suddenly power supply from Karang, Senegal, passed over villages to Kanuma, Mayamba, Bara and Isel. They allege that this power distribution strategy of Nawek is politically motivated. These are the views of many, in fact, that they would bring down electricity to our doorsteps when elections are coming closer. Because since these um, polls were put up here, it has been a, an, an, um, almost one year now, and still now we've seen nothing. I think what they are waiting is for elections to come near and then they install the wires um, or they install the electricity in our compounds so that at least we can go and vote for them. Mustafa M.B. Juf is a native of Amdalai, a border to Senegal. He tells QTV that the Amdalai border is faced with security challenges due to lack of electricity supply. Darkness welcomes people from Senegal into the border, he says. He also explains the economic losses the lack of access to electricity causes them. Security-wise, electricity can help a lot. If you look at it, many shops here close very early compared to the other shops at, um, on the Senegalese side. Because they have light everywhere, it will deprive bad people from doing their, their things at night. But in here, because it is dark, we always encounter a lot of problems with regards to stealing and, and then shop breaking and other things. So I think with, if electricity was brought to our doorsteps, this would have been addressed. Bakari L.M. Kante, the Provincial Operations Director of NAWEC, sheds light on the problem. The NAWEC Director explains that their action was technically motivated. He also reveals that their next step is to provide electricity to Amdala and Fas Choi. He assures other affected villages that they will benefit from power supply gradually. Phase 2 was supposed to have continued to um, Amdala and Amdala Fas uh, like that would have been connected. Okay, but as I said, uh, the execution of that phase is continuing, is at, uh, at the moment going on. But because an opportunity came away, that is to um, get cheaper supply from Senegal, and uh, we didn't wait for the completion of this project. Now it took it upon itself to connect Karang to um, uh, Bara Power Station. Uh, FAS and uh, Amdalai, that will be very soon. The others will be contingent on uh, availability of funds. I mean, uh, you are aware, or you may be aware that, of course, Nawek has been going through some very trying moments. The power supply from Karang, the Senegal border, is part of Nawek's effort to complete the phase two of the Rural Electricity Extension Project. The project is funded by Indian Line of Credit through the ECOWAS Bank for Investment and Development. Mumun Lamenchoy reporting for QTV News.